Hello everyone, I'm Michael, and welcome back to another book club preview. We're looking at the Penderwicks in Spring, Chapter 20, The Moopsab, or The Meeting of the Older Penderwick Sisters and Ben. In this chapter, the sisters have a meeting, and this is mostly from Rosalind um, going around to Jane and Sky and Ben and getting them together um, to talk about what has been happening with Batty. Now, while they're talking, they're focused on Ben because they know Ben knows something and they try to keep um, saying things that'll make him spill um, the secret. But Ben is pretty tough and he tries to uh, prepare his mind so he doesn't give any secrets. And they're talking and they're asking Ben about a lot of stuff, but Ben starts to um, push the conversation towards Oliver. Now here, suddenly Rosalind is the center of the conversation and Ben is safe. He doesn't have to worry about secrets. And they, all the sisters start talking about Oliver. Do you like Oliver? Do you like Oliver? Well, do you like Oliver? And all of them are just talking about Oliver and not about Bad anymore. Whew. So Ben feels pretty safe. Now, after they talk about Oliver, Rosalind decides that she needs to tell Oliver that, um, that it's not working out, that she just doesn't like him and that he can go home. And when Rosalind is talking with Oliver, Ben starts talking with Mr. Penderwick, his dad. And Mr. Penderwick starts to ask Ben, um, Ben, do you know any secrets about Batty? Um, does Batty make you go to secret meetings and promise things? And Ben's like, oh no, dad's gonna find the secret. Because he's already tired. He was already working so hard to protect the secret from his sisters. And now suddenly, oh, he thought he was safe. But his dad starts asking him. And Mr. Penderwick starts to guess the secret. And finally, Ben um, starts to cry because he feels like he told his dad a um, baddie secret. But Mr. Penderwick um, really just guessed it. But then he guessed that Batty was trying to go to Boston uh, to see Jeffrey. And that's how the chapter ends. Oh, sorry. The chapter ends with them saying that they said bye-bye to Oliver. Well, some vocabulary here. Um, it's all about rocks. So we have geodes, um, which are a kind of rock. Quartz, which is another kind of rock. <laughs> Obsidian, which is a black rock um, from hot lava. Um, and feldspar. And these are all just different rocks that, um, that Ben... Ben has in his room. Now usually I like to have a picture of these for you so you can check them out, but you probably wouldn't use um, these words um, unless you really cared about rocks and you studied rocks. If you are curious what exactly a geode is or a quartz or obsidian or feldspar, then I really encourage you to go online and, uh, and look for yourself. And they're all just different kinds of rocks um, that Ben has collected and he likes. So don't worry if you don't know what those are, okay? Discussion questions. In this chapter, I was wondering, the girls talk about, um, you know, boyfriends and um, why they like or dislike Oliver. What do you think makes a good boyfriend or girlfriend? Um, are there any things that that you think can help you see or determine what is good or what is bad? What are they? And the other question is, do you agree with the NIWB agreement? And that was the no interfering with boyfriends. So the sisters had a promise, okay? 
if they have a boyfriend, the other sisters aren't allowed to interfere with that relationship. And um, do you think that's a good idea? If you have brothers or sisters or even parents, but you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, should they um, tell you anything about them? Oh, I like your boyfriend or I don't like your boyfriend or girlfriend. Or, um, or do you think we should? We should talk about it. We should be honest and, and share things. What do you think about that? Well, that is all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for joining me for another book club preview. Bye bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.